We're Adam and Joanne from InspiredTaste.net, and welcome to our kitchen. Today we're showing you how to make extra smooth hummus. It's really easy. You're going to start with tahini, which is a creamy sesame paste. Just give it a stir and measure out about a quarter of a cup. Then add it to a food processor or blender. Next, you'll need some lemon juice. We like to use about a quarter of a cup, but you could use a little less or a little more depending on your taste. Add the lemon juice to the tahini, but use a strainer to make sure no seeds get through. Now process for about one minute. The tahini and lemon juice cream together and become thick, whipped, and creamy. That's the secret to creamy hummus. All right, now for some flavor. We like to use about half a clove of garlic, but we peel and mince it really fine first. That way, we help out the processor and no one is ever gonna bite into a big piece of garlic. Next, two tablespoons of olive oil, about half of a teaspoon of ground cumin, and some salt. Start with half a teaspoon and then taste later and add as you need it. Just scrape the bottom of the bowl and process again. After about a minute, open up the lid, scrape again, and continue to process. This all helps to make extra smooth creamy hummus. Now for the chickpeas. We use one can, but we drain and rinse it first. Add about half of the chickpeas to the food processor and process for another minute. Scrape. Then add the remaining chickpeas. Now process for one to two minutes until extra smooth. Go ahead and scrape the bowl again. And now to make things really, really smooth, and just like the hummus you buy at the store, we like to add two to three tablespoons of water. This just thins it out a little bit. You can add as much or as little as you want. As you add the water, you can literally see it get smoother and smoother. So good. Okay, you're done. Give it a test. Add it to a plate and then top with olive oil or paprika and enjoy.